The history of rocket flight cannot be complete without the mention of Werner von Braun. In this video, we will provide a short bio of this historical figure. Born in 1912 in Vichys, in what was then the German Empire and now Poland, von Braun's aristocratic background gave him an upper middle class upbringing. The second of three boys, he became proficient in playing the cello and piano at an early age and for a while wanted to become a composer. At 13 years of age, a gift of a telescope from his mother sparked a lifelong interest in astronomy. It was also at this time that von Braun discovered the book By Rocket into Interplanetary Space by rocket pioneer Hermann Oberth. He was able to experiment and apply what he read of Oberth's book when he joined the Society of Space Travel at 18 years of age. Despite not doing well in his early academic life, his devotion to aerospace resulted in an undergraduate degree in aeronautical engineering and a doctorate in physics. Not only did Oberth's book inspire von Braun, he described it to be the guiding light of his life. While von Braun was working on his doctorate in the early 1930s, he caught the attention of the Nazi party. The Nazi party had made rocketry a part of the national agenda, and all civilian rocketry activity was banned. As rocketry became part of the national agenda, von Braun had virtually limitless access to create and test rockets. It was during this time that the V-2 rocket, a liquid propellant rocket and a ballistic missile, was created by von Braun and his team and deployed by Nazi Germany. To this day, the extent of von Braun's role in the Nazi party, his motivations and intent are inconclusive. It has been noted, however, that space travel was first and foremost von Braun's goal. Whatever the case may be, the V-2 design is the precursor to all modern rockets. The post-war era proved to be a frustrating time for von Braun. After surrendering himself and his team of rocket scientists to the Americans in 1945, they were expected to develop missile technology for the U.S. Army, the Redstone rocket being a result coming out of this period. The Army was not interested in von Braun's vision of space travel at this time. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union was developing new rocket designs and launching Sputnik. By the late 1950s, America started to get anxious about the apparently emerging space race and so created NASA in 1958. In 1960, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center was established in Huntsville, Alabama, and von Braun was asked to be the director. He accepted on the terms that he could continue to work on the Saturn rocket. The Saturn rocket would eventually lead to the Apollo program, culminating in sending three men to the moon in 1969. Not long after this momentous event, von Braun retired from NASA as it became evident that interest and in funding in spaceflight dramatically dropped. After NASA, von Braun worked for the aerospace firm Fairchild Industries, continued to give speeches at universities and promote space camps for children. He also helped to start the National Space Institute, currently the National Space Society, and in 1977 was awarded the 1975 National Medal of Science by the U.S. government. Credited with being the father of rocket science, von Braun died in 1977 at the age of 65 of cancer. For more information on this as well as other aerospace-related topics, please visit us at www.sigmarockets.com.